thank you guys this is third mode all these ranges can be used to test some of the capacitors but today we are going to use 2 and 20 mega ohm range we are here to test a few of capacitors let's this is the first capacitor right it's not testing it's not giving a reading if it is not giving a reading you change side and if it fails again you change the range It's a good capacitor because it gives us a reading. Yes, again, it's a good capacitor. Why? It decreases and increases. That's our main aim. Let's turn it. It starts by decreasing. And now it's increasing. If it shows this, that means the capacitor is good. Push it aside. We then take another capacitor. With our two red and negative pro, right? You see, let's turn it's decreasing. Hmm? But now it's increasing, which means this is good again. It's a good capacitor. That's how you test capacitors on any range. Right. It's decreasing. And increasing right spot the leak shorted and open capacitor on the board, remove them and test them. This is a good capacitor again. You turn it, it's increasing and decreasing. Right? Let's change our range to 20 really 20 mega ohm it starts by you change the side it's decreasing 
and it's increasing. But here it will take long to reach 20 mega ohms because we are using a bigger range. So it takes time. Here it's decreasing and it's increasing again. Guys, if this video is helpful, subscribe. Thank you.